I'm going to make these videos on deduce to um, give you some demos of how to do things in deduce. I'm going to keep them short and quick so you're going to get four or five five minute videos um, because they're hard to upload or email or link anywhere um, as long videos. So first I'm going to show you how to start creating a new project in deduce and um, how to add users in deduce. So the first thing here is when you log into deduce um, most people what they'll see first is a demo project if it's your first time logging in um, you can usually ignore this it's just a demo project but if you go over here to the top right projects um, you'll see a list of all the projects you have running at the time um, automatically when you load in log in it will load the most recent project you've been working on um, if you want to add a new project you go down here to the bottom right side and you hit create project is where you're going to name it. I'm going to call this NAD men demo. Go ahead and hit submit. It will automatically load that project. So you go ahead and hit OK. And if you go back to projects, here you can see that it's there. If you ever want to delete any of these projects, you can do that too by coming down here, selecting the project you want to delete and hit delete project. The great thing about deduce is it doesn't let you really do anything such as delete a lot of data without typing in delete entire project so it's not like you can accidentally hit buttons or anything so I'm just going to cancel that so once you're on it and you load it if it's already loaded it'll tell you um, you've already loaded this project so then you can come up here to this tab and go home as you can see there's nothing in here right now because we have nothing imported um, one of the first things you can do is go into, um, if you want to see who all has access to your project, you might first want to go into your data set and up here, click on the tab users and I'll show you right now the only person who has access to this data set is you. Now you know you want to add some users so then you would do that by going to security. I'm not really sure at this point how you can change um, the setup between what type of access um, that you can give people. Um, most of the time to this point I've only given everybody full access. Um, so you'll come down here and you'll hit add user, um, use a selected group which is a full access. Um, sorry I didn't select it, you gotta select it and then hit use selected group. Now you'll have to use the email address that the person registered with deduce. So I'm going to use Karen's email. And when you hit submit, it'll tell you if they have registered or if they have an active account. And they'll say user wasn't found, invite to project. I hit yes. Karen, you might get a couple of these. Um, so then I'll tell you that an invitation has been sent and that she, you know, will have to confirm it. So once you're here, um, if you go back to your data set, even though you invited her, um, her name won't show here until she accepts your invite and then her name will show here. One thing I do want to show you quickly, um, I'm going to leave this data set and I'm going to go into the one I was working on with Catherine and Karen. Um, I just want to show you that if you go into your data set and you go into users and you have more than one user, um, you can currently activate or inactivate users based on what you see. Now it doesn't give them, it doesn't deactivate their access, it just deactivates you seeing what they're doing. And this is very important when you're going to code um, blindly if you're going to have two or more people code. So I'll usually start by deactivating all. And then in order to activate, you'll just click on the, the ones you want to see. So for example, right now I'm just going to activate us all. And if I close out, you can see a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Down here specifically, it says excerpts 480. And I'll start to show you the excerpts that Catherine made in this data set. Now if I go into this data set and I go 
users and I deactivate all and then I only activate myself and that goes back you see all the things that she did went away and now she's the only one who's excerpted in this data set so now it shows that there's zero excerpts one thing it will show you though however is of our documents up here this document has five excerpts, this one has five, this one has two. That never goes away. So we just have to be mindful when we're coding and more than one person's coding that we turn all other users off. But even though they're off and we can't see what they're excerpting, we can see how many excerpts they're pulling out of each document, which could kind of taint us. We have to be mindful that just because Catherine found five, we don't have to go on a mission to try to make sure we find five. We want to code individually and then see, make sure they match up in the end, not look at these numbers. So that's it for this so that I can upload it and then I will create another video and we'll go into um, entering your data into Deuce by hand or exporting it in. I'll go over both ways.